subject mathematics standard third topic division students in previous class mean, means in previous video we have studied division part 1 so in this video we are going to see that yes division part 2 the sums related to division how to solve them okay so students uh, here what we have learned in division that is part 1 making equal shares then forming groups or making shares or lots subtracting the same number again and again meaning of division and definition of division students here the meaning yes in previous class means in pre previous video we have studied the division meaning yes and in previous video i have explained you also the examples okay from all this example what we come to know is that division means distributing things equally division means making equal groups of things division also means that taking away the same number of things again and again from a certain number of things okay so students this all about division yes the meaning now what about the division symbol okay the, the symbol of division is students you can see here this two symbol we use when we solve the division sums like one dash and two dots and other like slash one line okay students so this other symbol of division like sign also we can say and for example students when you say means when you write you will write 2 12 uh, then division sign then 3 then equal to sign then 4 but when you read how you read it is read as 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 okay students you can see here the definition of division the division is a method of distributing a group of things into equal parts so one more time i repeat students the definition of division is the division is a method of distributing a group of things into equal parts so students now let us solve some sum of division here let i'm going to explain you some sums here of division okay students the first sum here 4 divided by 2 student before going to start the sum means when you are going to start the sum what you have to do you have to make the symbol first the straight line and the curved line okay now what will come inside okay now look at your student 4 divided by 2 this 4 you have to write yes always inside the symbol here here like this okay students and other this 2 number means 4 divided by 2 2 will come out of the symbol here okay 2 and 4 here student now this 2 we have written outside and this 4 is here now we have to see here in two tables 4 is coming or no and how many times 4 is comes means 2 ones are 2 2 two are 4 yes so 2 two are 4 this 2 in between means how many times 4 goes in 2 table yes 2 2 is a 4 means 2 this 2 wh where we have to write yes we have to write upside here top side this so 2 will come here okay student so 2 2 is a 4 yes right this 2 2 is a 4 again we will write here okay so 2 2 is a 4 it's yes 2 2 is a 4 means Student 4 now, then after that 4 minus 4 is equal to, yes, very good, it's 0. So, 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So student, look at here, 2 to the 4 means then 
4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Then now what this number calls, let's see that. Okay, students? See now, this 4 is called dividend. This 4 is called dividend. Then this 2 is called divisor. Okay, this 2 is called divisor. Then this 2 is called quotient. Yes, this top 2 is called quotient. And yes, what remember here? Yes, the 0. It's a remainder. Okay, students? See, dividend is 4, divisor is 2, quotient is 2 and remainder is 0. Okay. Student, now here the next sum. Yes. Second sum, 9 divided by 3. Same student, first we will do the symbol. Okay, one straight line, then the curved line. And 9, where 9 will go? Yes, inside the symbol. Okay, and 3, it's a, yes, 3 will come outside. Okay, now let's see table now. 9 goes in 3 table, so it's go, and how many times it goes? Yes, look at here. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9. So, 3 3s are 9 student. This between 3 means middle 3 where you will write? Yes, top. So, 3 3s are, yes, 3 3s are 9. Okay, comes here? Yes. So, 9 minus 9, it's, yes student, very good, it's 0. So, 9 minus 9 is 0. Okay, what's this 9 call? Yes, dividend. And what's this 3 call? Divisor. And this three, top three, yes, quotient. And zero, remainder. Okay, students. So, dividend is nine. Divisor is three. Quotient is three. And remainder is zero. Now, here the third sum, students. That is eight divided by four. Yes, again first you will do the symbol. One straight line and the other is curved line. Okay? Yes, 8 will come. Very good. Inside the symbol. 8. And where is the 4? Yes, out of the symbol. Okay. 4. So student, now look at here. Yes, now let us see. In 4 cut table, it goes on no, 8. Okay? And how many times it goes? 4 ones are 4. 4 twos are 8. Yes. So 4 twos are. Yes. 4 twos are 8. So where to we will write this 2? Middle 2. Yes. Good. Top. Up means upside. So 4 twos are 8. Very good. 4 twos are 8. So student 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. Yes. So, this 8 is called dividend. And this 4 is called divisor. This 2 is called top 2. Yes, quotient. And 0 is a remainder. Yes. So, dividend is 8 here. Divisor is 4 here. Quotient is 2. And the remainder is 0. Now, students, the fourth sum here. Till here, students, we have divided the number by one number, means single digit. Now, we are going to do dividing a two-digit number by a single digit number, okay? In fourth sum here, 36 divided by 9, student, okay? Yes, of course, the first is, yes, the straight line and the curve, very good, okay? Then where the 36 will go? Yes, inside the... Symbol, okay, 36. And this 9, outside the symbol, here. Okay, now let us see in 9 table, 36 goes or no, okay. Yes, let's see. 9 ones are 9, 9 twos are 18, 9 threes are 27, and 9 fours are 36. Yes, so this 4, 
मिडिल फोर वेर वी विल राइट स्टूडेंट ये अपसाइड सो नाइन फोर जार थर्टी ओके स्टूडेंट थर्टी सिक्स माइनस थर्टी सिक्स इज इक्वल टू ये इट्स जीरो सो दिस थर्टी सिक्स इज कॉल्ड डिविडेंट दिस नाइन इज कॉल्ड डिवाइजर दिस फोर इज कॉल्ड ये क्वेश्चन एंड दिस जीरो इज कॉल्ड रिमाइंडर सो डिविडेंट इज इन थर्टी सिक्स डिवाइजर इज नाइन क्वेश्चन इज फोर एंड रिमाइंडर इज जीरो Now here the fifth sum students, okay? Okay, fifth sum forty two divided by seven, okay? Now this forty two where we will write? Yes, inside the symbol. First you have to draw the symbol, okay, student? One straight line and the curved line, and this seven we will write outside, okay? Now let us see in seven table four. Forty-two means forty-two goes on. Okay, seven ones are seven, seven two is a fourteen, seven three is a twenty-one, seven four is a twenty-eight, seven five is a thirty-five, and seven six is a forty-two. Yes, so this seven six means this six middle six we will write yes top. So seven six are how many students? Yes, it's forty-two. So forty-two minus forty-two is equal to zero. Yes. So this forty-two is called divider. This seven is called divisor. This six is called yes quotient, and this zero is called remainder. Okay. Now yes, dividend is forty-two. Divisor is seven. Quotient is six, and remainder is zero. Student, here the next sum, okay? Forty-nine divided by six. So, students, first what you will do is that yes, the symbol of division, okay? One straight line, then the curved line. This forty-nine you will write inside like this, forty-nine, and this six you will write out of the symbol here, six. So, student, after this you have to see that. In six table, the forty nine goes or no? If forty nine not goes, then the nearest number of forty nine we have to take. Not more than forty nine, okay? Less means near by the forty nine number, okay? See here, six one the six, six two the twelve, six three the eighteen, six four the twenty four, six five the thirty, six six the thirty six, six seven the forty two. Six eights are forty-eight. Six nines are fifty-four. So here in six table, the forty-nine number is not there. Okay, student, the nearest number of forty-nine is yes, forty-eight. So let us take forty-eight now here. Okay, student, so six eights are eight. This middle number we have to write here. Okay, and six eights are how much? Yes, forty-eight. So this forty-eight will come here. And here we have to minus that now. Forty-nine minus forty-eight means the last digit number we have to see the unit place. So nine minus eight is equal to yes, it's one. Okay, students. So forty-nine minus forty-eight is equal to one. So what is this number called now? Forty-nine is called dividend. Then the six divisor. Then the eight yes quotient. Then the remainder. This is called the remainder. Till now we have saw the zero remainder. Now here the new number means one remainder. It's called remainder. Okay, student. Look at here. Dividend is forty nine. Divisor is six. Quotient is eight, and remainder is one. Here the next sum, student. Now, okay. Okay, so fifty-eight divided by eight. Yes, the first, the symbol of division, straight line, then the curve, then this fifty-eight. Yes, we have to write inside the symbol. Then this eight will come. Yes, here. 
8 and 58. Okay. Now let us see in 8 table 58 goes on. Okay. 8 1 is 8. 8 2 is 16. 8 3 is 24. 8 4 is 32. 8 5 is 40. 8 6 is 48. 8 7 is 56. And 8 8 is 64. So student, the 58 number, it's not goes in 8 table. So what we have to do is that, yes, the nearest number of 58 is, yes, 56. We don't have to take the greater number of 58. We have to take the less number, okay? Below the 58. So 56, yes. So 8 7 is 56. This 7, yes, of course, 8 7. 7 will come top. Yes, your upside means. So, 8, 7 is how much student? Yes, 56. So, 8, 7 is 56. Okay. And now, 58 minus 56 means the unit place we will see first here. 8 minus 6? Yes, is 2. Okay. Then, 5 minus 5? It's 0. Okay, means 0. Okay. Now, here see, 5 Yes, 5, 58 means 58. 8 is dividend and 8 is, yes, divisor. 7 is quotient and yes, this 2, it, yes, it's a remainder. Okay, student, now look at here. Dividend is 58, 8 is divisor, quotient is 7 and remainder is 2. What is the remainder here? It is remaining like. Yes, it's a 2. Okay. So, here, student, the sixth sum now. Okay, the last sum. 64 divided by 8. Yes, 64 divided by 8. Okay, students. Yes, first the symbol. One straight line, then the curve. 64, where we are going to write? Yes, inside the symbol. And 8 outside. Yes. Now let us see the table of 8 here. 64 goes or no. Others we, may, we have to take the near number of 64. No bigger number, less number. Means the near number, the small number of 64. Okay. 8 1s are 8. 8 2s are 16. 8 3s are 24. 8 4s are 32. 8 5s are 40. 8 6s are 48. 8 7s are 56. And 8 eights are 64. Yes. So, this 8 where it will, it will come? Yes. Upside. Here. 8 eights are 64. Okay. 8 eights are 64 students. So, 64 minus 64 is equal to how much? Yes. It's 0. Okay. So, this 64 is called dividend. This 8 is called divisor. This 8 is called Yes, what is question? And these zeros are called remainder. Okay. So, dividend is 64, divisor is 8, quotient is 8 and remainder is 0. Okay. Students, here now the homework time. Okay. You have to solve this 6 sum in your Max notebook. Okay. So students, I hope everyone had understood the topic lesson. Thank you.